today we're going to be using Bloxels again. So to get logged into Bloxels, you open up the iPad and remember the passcode is 1234. And then you're going to go to the folder titled Coding. And then you're going to go to Bloxels Builder. When you open it up, you're going to see a little icon up at the top, like a little person. You're going to press that. And then you're going to press log in, which it went ahead and came down for us. Then you will put your teacher's last name. So the group I'm about to meet with is done. And then you put fourth grade. And then whatever group you are. So I'm about to meet with 2B. And you have to have a capital A or B with whatever group that you are a part of. And then you can press done. And then you have to put in your classroom password, which should be on the sheet with all of the groups on it. And then you press log in. Then you want to say yes. If, it, if this comes up where it says there's unsynced assets, press yes. And then you want to close that screen out. And you can see up here that little crown is letting you know that you are logged in. So now you're going to press these three little lines up at the top and you're going to click Game Builder. If you have not started building your prototype, you need to click Build New Game and then press this little arrow over here and press the icon right there, that little I. And that's where you're going to put your name. For example, if your name was Bob, you would put Bob. And then save and close. So that way it, it saves your progress. If you have already started creating a game and you go to Game Builder, Let's go back home and then go to the game builder. You will just put, you will not click build a new game. You will click this little arrow and then scroll through to find your name. So if you have already started one, it should be saved over here where this little arrow is underneath here and then you'll just click on it and continue to add to it. So let's go back to Bob. When I'm adding my rooms, I'm going to add them straight across. And remember you're supposed to have four rooms. So my first room is here. When I click on it, I can go ahead and build straight into the app by pressing my icons over here, adding some terrain, adding some hazards. If I make a mistake, I press this little eraser and I can erase my mistakes and if I'm ready to add a new room I press the map and press the plus to add a new room. If I, add, if I am creating my room on the tray with the actual blocks then I would build it and then press this camera and then I would scan it in. So whatever my, wherever my tray is, I would just pick up the iPad and scan my tray in. And it should automatically um, put all your blocks onto this screen. Once you are done with your, let's add a couple power-ups and enemies. Once you are done with your room layout, you're going to press this configure button and everything with an arrow above it, you need to configure it. So you need to choose what power up you want and then what enemies you want. Remember the turrets, shoot, 
flyers fly in the air and the patrollers move back and forth. And then once you're completely done, you're going to press these three little lines, go to home, and you'll press the little crown and log out.